welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147, and I've got an unboxing for you today. Um, now, this is, as the title says, an Ever Moment unboxing. No, I've not gone crazy and got the store name huddled up. This is definitely from Ever Moment. However, this is a smaller painting. So I ordered this in a 30 by 30. Um, and for sizes, I think it's 30 by 40 or lower, they do ship in bags. So this is an ever moment in a bag. So let's have a look at the goodness that I've got. So I'm just gonna find the top sort of part of the bag so that I can get in there without causing any damage. Let's, so we've got a jiffy bag, which is what's got, sorry, a, a sort of, just a like a bin bag basically just a plastic bag over the top with all my details on it and then we do have a jiffy bag inside so this is where you'll find the diamond painting it's got the code this is what's usually on the end of the tube at the moment it's a 30 by 30 and it is 38 colors wow so let's get in and have a look at what painting I picked up. This is where I'm trying to make sure that I don't cut through anything canvas-like. So we have the canvas with a little ever moment bow. And then we have, oh, all the rest. So and that's everything else tipped out. So we have diamonds. They're in a different type of bag than normal. Um, we have a little gift which is a hair tie with little leaves or ears or whatever you want to call it. Um, we've got some of the Ever Moment bags. I do like these bags. Um, I don't tend to use them for my spare drill storage but they're great for um, projects that may use the little tiny gems or if you want to send some diamonds onto a friend they're great. We've got their toolkit, um, which includes the Ever Moment tweezers. The cap for them is in the bag, it's just stuck. Two pieces of wax, a pen with a three multiplacer and a single placer, as well as a grip. We have a nine multiplacer in there as well, or sorry, a six. Uh, and then we have your boat, your white boat. So a nice, nice quality, but standard for Ever Moment. So let's have a look. So this is shrink wrapped because it's not come in a tube. So they've shrink wrapped the painting. So let's see if I can actually get in it because that didn't give me a very big start, did it? Okay, it doesn't want to start tearing. Let's try the other end before we crack out the scissors. Let's see if I can get it to keep pulling. Oh, there we go. So that's, let's get all that plasticky stuff to go over there. And you may have started to see the design. It's a nice sunset type design. Sorry, I had bits of plastic sticking to my hands. And then we've got a lovely little Ever Moment bow. A piece of ribbon. And then this is the diamond painting. Wow, it does have 38 colours. We do have a foam core, oh, which is actually taped to the other end of the diamond painting. So we'll undo that. And we'll let that just uncurl itself. And I'll have a look at the inventory sheet and show you. Oh, so there's a note in here. So... Um, this is new from Ever Moment. I have heard of this. Um, I'm pretty sure they sent an email out. Um, but they've included a statement of diamonds that they're using. Um, the difference of a diamond made from resin or made from acrylic. And they explain that there's two different types. Um, and they, as a seller, they feel they're responsible for telling us the differences. I'm not reading it word for word. I'm just going to paraphrase. Um, so you can know. So apparently resin diamonds are more expensive, almost two times than acrylic. Um, and there'll be also, 
due to the way they make them, the acrylic diamonds, be almost no defective diamonds, but for resin, um, even the best can't avoid it. So apparently the resin are better, but they can show more signs of, of damage or being defective than the acrylic. Um, resin diamonds are more shiny and have better quality. Um, and apparently then, therefore, they'll look better. So there is a couple of different things you can use to tell you the difference between the two. Um, and they're saying that we're insisting on using resin diamonds, even though the high cost um, means that they don't have as much advantage, but they want to focus on quality. Um, and they have that in what looks like German as well. Um, but yeah, so they have that included which is new, I've not seen that before. And then we have the standard inventory sheet and about your inventory sheet, how many diamonds are in per bag, the fact that they only sell on AliExpress and they also, if you're not happy with the customer service or anything about your diamond painting, where to go. Which this I think is fantastic to actually people that have never ordered before to give them that sort of information is awesome um, but this is the painting I just thought it was cute no other reason I just thought it was cute uh, so we have quite a few colors in here we have the most of 3608 we do have some 310 about 700 that's not too bad but I say we've got quite a lot of colors in there symbols wise symbols look very good I've never had a problem with ever moment symbols before they're all very different we've got a mixture of all sorts of different symbols but I've never had a problem actually working on an ever moment diamond painting so let's have a look at the canvas now this is all in one sheet if we have a look on the back there is not a single bubble quiver or anything which means to me if we end up with any rivers in the glue they will come out with a craft knife they are definitely not down to the canvas itself Let's see if we can peel this up without ripping it, with it being a full sheet. There we go. Looks very bitty from where I'm stood. Um, but when we lift, when I look through the camera, it looks very clear. Uh, it looks like the image is supposed to be anyway. So just to confirm, that is the image and that is what we're seeing so yes it's a bit darker but it has got all the symbols on top of it i'm sure that will look very light and bright once it's done so let's get that flattened down and let's pull it up from the other side as well Ooh, number eight that looks like an eight ball is black and there's a whole strip of it down here <laughs> There we go. I have ended up with a couple of little rivers in the glue. I think that's just the way I've opened it. Um, it is not any reflection on the canvas at all because they will come out perfectly fine. But oh, look at that. So even though it's very dark, all the symbols are very clear, which is great. So very happy with the way that canvas looks. So my battery needs changing, so I'm going to change that and then we'll have a look at the inventory. Okay, so I've changed my battery. Um, I have laid out all the diamonds in sort of number order. And I have gone through and done a quick check rather than going through every single number with you lot. Um, just because it can get a little bit tedious. So I've gone through and done a quick check. Um, while my battery was charging. Now, just for you know reference sake, so you can sort of see what I've got. So they say that a small a small bag has either like one hundred and sixty to two hundred diamonds, 
and they say a large bag has 800 to 1,000 diamonds. Okay, so that's what they say is in each bag. Now, for example, to show you 310, I need 732, which means a big bag should be plenty for what I need. They've given me a big bag and a small bag. So they're giving me over the amount that I need already. Um, for 818, again, I only need 695. They've given me a big bag and a small bag. So even going on their lowest numbers, that would give me 960. And I only need 695. So I found the only ones that they sort of give me one bag for is one that I need 113, one that I need 74. That's sort of the thing that they've only given me one for. Even this 156 that I only need 200, they've given me two bags to make sure that I've got plenty. So there is plenty of diamonds here. All the colours are here, which is great. I think this is going to be quite a pretty little picture. Um, and for those that are following my Heaven and Earth designs, this has number 552, which I need to fill a gap. Um, and for this painting, I only need 131 and they've given me two bags. So before I even pack this away, I'm going to chop one of those bags off and I'm going to use that in my Heaven and Earth designs and I'm going to pack this up um, ready for when I get to do it. So I tend to use, let me just stretch behind is where I keep my diamonds. I tend to use these sort of bags, they're A5 size. Um, you can pick them up in stationery shops, though for me personally, they're left over from um, scrapbooking kits that I've got in the past. I put in my sheet to let me know what design it is. And then, I mean, if, if I had lots more of the same colors, um, I would put them in some sort of order, but it's not worth it. So all I do is just sort of sit those in there, sort of straight as much as I can. And then I keep my diamond painting separate and flat. Um, but all my diamonds go in here so that I've got them when I get round to getting this painting prepared might be a bit before I get this one prepared. I have got a few too many on the go at the moment and a few that need doing. Um, but then that's zipped up, that's already there. If you do use the same toolkit that comes with it, you could always put your toolkit in as well. Uh, I just tend to keep it as diamonds. And then this, I either put in a flat art folder or I will pin it up on a pegboard that I've got. Um, with all my spares but wow oh and I've pulled the whole sheet off that's going to be entertaining to get back on um, but while we've pulled it off there's the image and to show you the symbols are very very clear sorry my light is reflecting off them as well but that is a very clear symbols the light is shining quite a bit but while they're dark they are very, very clear um, and it looks dark because of the symbols being black. This little bit here where the glue sort of ruffled due to the way I've unwrapped it, I'm actually running it down with my nail and it's sticking straight back down. But if for any reason it didn't, I would just run my craft knife along it just to give somewhere for the air to escape and that would work. But I've just got rid of them purely by just using my nail. So back to being a perfect canvas. Let's see if we can get this to fit on in any such way that it actually came on the diamond painting in the first place. What a silly thing did I do. Well, there we go, that's not too bad. We've got the top cover back on. Thank goodness it's a 30 by 30 and not bigger. Uh, so there we go. That's all ready for when I get round to doing it. So thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.